This video was sponsored by One Nest Studios. Elevate your sound. If you're looking for a studio that is reasonably priced to record your music, podcasts, etc., then you cannot go wrong with One Nest Studios. Contact the number down below or the email address or visit their website for more details. Thank you. Hi, this is my review of the GoPro Handler. Now this is a floaty hand grip um, made by GoPro. And I paid this on eBay, which the original price was $29.99. Yes, folks, £30 for this handle. But I managed to pay £15.79. Uh, this is how, when you get it, this is what the box looks like. Picture of the handler there and a little line frame of line diagram of the GoPro on there. Around the box, it just shows you basically how to use it and where it would be used and what attachment goes on the top. Now, this is all what you get in the box is the handler, is the handler. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that folks, is the handler with a attached wrist strap with a adjustment on there. Now I have to say, uh, for me, this is literally, um, I'd say what we say in England, a piss take. <laughs> because I think this is overpriced for what it is. But anyway, I'll just carry on going through about the handle. It is made out of plastic. Um, the whole thing is made out of plastic with this kind of foam um, grip here in the middle, which is cylindrical, right round with a flat part on the back here. Now, this does not use the typical style GoPro fingers to mount the camera. It has what they call the buckle mount um, on top, which is permanently fixed. So if you're gonna fix your camera onto there, or any action camera, um, as long as it's got GoPro style uh, fingers on there, you need to get this kind of mounting system. Now you'll get this normally when you buy the GoPro mounting system. And this simply slides on like so. And that's it. And then you can adjust your camera by loosening the thumb screw to adjust your camera. Now at the bottom here, we have the GoPro name branding here. We have a nice thick orange um, base at the bottom. Now, please bear it in mind, you cannot unscrew this base to access the compartment in here. It is fixed, so you can't do that. And then we have the lanyard. Now the actual length of the handler from the very top point here, the highest point to the bottom is about six and a half inches long. It's roughly about just over an inch um, across. So, and so it is quite thick and it does float your camera, your GoPro on there really, really good. So I give it that, it does float it good. And I like how they have this nice thick orange part at the top here so you can be seen in any kind of water, which is also brilliant. Um, it is a good feel in the hand because of the size of it, the thickness of it, so it is a good feel. And as I showed you before, that's the mounting system, how you mount it, so you'd have to get one of these buckle mounts um, to mount onto this um, handler. As for the lanyard, it's a kind of thin string-like lanyard not like others that I've reviewed, which is, this is quite thick. It's more thin, um, wiry-like, but not too cheap. And you know, it's not breakable so as such. So that's all right, I don't mind that. To me, it's just the price of this thing. To me, it's a bit overpriced for what it is. And the limitations of this handler, it would have been really good 
The limitation is that you can't store anything within the compartment in here, which to me is a bit bad. But that's how the GoPro handler looks with a camera on. Now, this is my two pence worth on the GoPro handler floating hand grip. I'm just gonna start with the negatives first. The negative being, here's the first one, is the mounting system at the top. It would have been good if it was the fingers rather than the buckle mount. So that means an extra cost that you might have to go, if you haven't got a GoPro camera and you wanted to use this, you have to go and get a buckle mount for the top. And if your camera doesn't come with the GoPro style fingers at all, you're gonna to have to fork out for that as well for a case with the fingers on. So that's a negative. It can be a positive, but it's a negative. So that's one negative. The other one, this is a kind of foam grip. Now, some people would like this foam grip, other people don't. So that's half and half of a negative, <laughs> a half negative, half plus. Some people like it, some people don't. It is quite spongy, I give it that, but I rather prefer to have rubber than this kind of sponge. Uh, when coming out of the water, it will feel a little bit more heavier because this sponge will hold some water. Not much water, not much when I tried it. It wasn't much at all. But you can, when you squeeze it, there is some um, water retained in this sponge, not much. Um, another one is the actual wrist lanyard. It's not as thick as other lanyards and I wish it was a thicker one. This is too like wiry and I just didn't like the feel of it at all, but, but this is what GoPro puts on there. And the last negative, which is the biggest one, is the price. Now, because Amazon has reduced it, this was originally 29.99, 30 pounds for this. No way. Even though they reduced it to 15.79, I said, still, Far too much money for this, far too much money. This should cost no more from GoPro, I'd say between 10 to 12 pounds at least, because it's a name brand thing. So between that price would be all right. One last negative, and I've almost forgotten about that one even though I mentioned it in the video. There's no inner compartment with this at all. Like with some um, floaty hand grips, that I reviewed, you can screw the bottom off and you can place rings or money in the compartment and the item, the handle will still float with the camera. There's this one you can't, it's sealed up or it's just one continuous unit so you can't get to it. So that's a negative. Now as for the positives with this, I'll start off with the top. Um, before I said it was either, it was a negative, it can be a negative and a positive. Some people like this kind of buckle mount system at the top. So for a pos it's a positive for those people who like that kind of system at the top of the handler. The same again will go for the actual handle itself. They like, some people like this kind of foam rubber, rubber which this foam spongy kind of rubber, what's on there. I personally don't like that, but some people do uh, when it comes to floaty hand grips. Now, when it comes to poles and that I don't mind but when it comes to floaty hand grips I don't like that kind of foam this foam rubber on the handle so that's a negative or it could be a positive depending who you uh, you know your preference and the last one to me um, which is a positive can be a positive uh, for some people is the lanyard now to me it's a negative to some people and uh, they would like this lanyard because how it's got this kind of string feeling to it. It's not as thick, meaning i.e. we're going to water or whatever. It, it won't retain water around your wrist when you're coming out and stuff like that. And some people don't like that kind of feeling. So it's a positive for those people who like this particular type of lanyard. Now, if you happen to buy the GoPro handler, please leave a comment down in the comments description down there what you thought about it. Because your opinions are different to my opinions. Me personally think it is all right, but just too overpriced for what it is. 
So that's my opinion, overall opinion about this item. If you like uh, this video, and I know it's one of my shortest ones, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. This is a kind of short video for me anyway, so. Please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.